Hello. Current topic is about uh, business processes and as they linked with document and records management. Business processes are a very wide subject and uh, uh, recently, I mean uh, in in last 10 years, there has been very, very uh, a large amount of, of research and very, very many applications uh, dealing with business process management, business processes and uh, a subject linked with business processes like case management, case, case management processes and, um, and so on. Uh, business process management is, um, is um, quite large um, uh, business. Uh, a lot of companies are making business process uh, uh, management software, special software for business process management, software which might be uh, used as a, as a module or component uh, for, for different, uh, dif in, in the different uh, uh, other softwares. And of course, uh, many uh, uh, software which are used uh, using uh, used in um, using in uh, which we are using in in uh, records management and documents management also have uh, uh, business process management component uh, this might be uh, quite uh, uh, different and even named differently uh, very often you can find it uh, named uh, workflow engine or workflow management or something like this and i will a little bit explain uh, from the records, document and records management point of view, what is, the, what is the understanding of business processes and how we're dealing with this? First of all, uh, uh, when you look uh, on the uh, document management uh, standards and uh, functional requirements for document management software applications, you don't find the component of business processes uh, or workflows as a uh, necessary part of this. Usually it, is as, uh, usually it might be there, but um, it's not necessary. Uh, on the other hand, uh, you hardly find good uh, document or records management software application, uh, application without the component, component of, the, of the workflows. Uh, they had their own workflow engines, they use different workflow engines. These workflow engines are, uh, are uh, developed during the last 15 years quite um, uh, substantially and so on and so on. Uh, for example, one of the, of the largest uh, uh, world providers of the document and records management applications, OpenText, has uh, two sort of the, of the, of the uh, uh, workflow and business, business process management uh, part in their in their software one is the smaller one for sort of the of, of the workflows uh, i can't uh, here be very precise on that on the terms and another is more wide for processes and you can automa automate the processes as you have mentioned i'm using different uh, terms um, and uh, uh, there is no very good clarification about the concepts behind these terms these terms, which is uh, generally used in, in document management, are we speaking uh, in the terms of, of functions, activities, transactions. Wide functions, activities and small transactions. But there are other terms uh, like process, like task, like workflow. First of all, workflow. Workflow is uh, not very old term, but uh, very widely used, like for example Microsoft using in, in, in his applications, its applications, this term wor workflow engine and many others. And uh, uh, in English in English speaking world, the uh, term workflow is quite wide, uh, wide known, but not in every language and if we translate it uh, directly, giving new new term, translating workflow in the, in the direct uh, way uh, people don't understand what is what is this because uh, they sometimes uh, used to use the old uh, terms which are sort of the processes uh, we dealt uh, in the paper based uh, records management and uh, and office work uh, environment and these terms are usually um, um, 
and named or somehow explained in the in the in the in the law, and uh, of course the the widest term is the process, court process, proceedings, court process, this kind of word, uh, and uh, in the national languages they have uh, their uh, different meaning. Uh, in Estonian language, uh, we use um, a term which doesn't um, uh, say anything to English speak, uh, people, but I will give it, give it as an example. Uh, we use the term uh, menetlus, and this came from the Finnish language. In Finnish, uh, same, same term is menetelma, and the term was uh, turned into the Estonian language, was uh, taken over in, Est in Estonian language in 1920s, 1930s. And, and uh, therefore, we are also speaking about the digital processes, and the meaning is the digital, some kind of, of, of uh, lawful processes. Uh, workflow. Um, what is the workflow, and uh, what is the difference between the workflow and business process? Um, it takes uh, more than an hour to explain it, but let's say here that the workflow generally is smaller one. Uh, you can mm, do some uh, concrete uh, circle of the work, concrete steps of the work, and this is where workflow, and this workflow work flows. Um, uh, also, the term called workflow instance is that it's the one, one time this workflow template is used to do this work, like some kind of proceedings and so on. Uh, this workflow is not linked very well neither to the activity nor to the transaction. Uh, process as a term is more linked to the activity. And in records management, we in analyzing, analyzing uh, the office environment, we looked on the records which are the uh, documented items of the transactions, usually, but not necessarily. And this might be also documented, uh, documented uh, uh, steps of more, more transactions and constitute, the one document might constitute also the, the process, the process. Usually process uh, is not one step, but Process, especially the, the court process, for example, or something like this, is constitute a file, the paper file. And, uh, or, uh, as in English language, they use it, case file, or case, it constitute the case. Uh, there is many, diff many, many documents arranged into one case. Uh, these are the sort of the general concepts used in, in, in analysis in one hand and in the, in the applications in another hand. Another term uh, very often used in, in, uh, in business process analysis and also in, in re document and records management is, is task. The task is appointed to you, as Galadriel said to them. Uh, Frodo, as you remember from the R R Lord of the Rings. Uh, this task was appointed to you. Uh, task. Task is a very, gener very, very general uh, term. And uh, the, what exactly is the task? Either to, to give some signing or approve the document or do new document. This, uh, uh, this term not telling us. And therefore, in the records and documents management uh, applications, uh, we need to use uh, uh, more uh, uh, elaborated and also attributed or named uh, 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 sort of the types of the tasks um, uh, to auto automate these workflows. And this is one, uh, by my mind, quite specific um, feature of the document and records management uh, applications that, first of all, we have a um, uh, number of uh, tasks we generally used in the office work. And then we have a special uh, uh, 
uh, activities or transactions uh, uh, linked with this type of task and we can automate them. For example, uh, we, have a task, uh, we have a task review this document. This might be a review with amendments or review without amendments and we can do it parallelly or, uh, or uh, sequently um, um, but this is uh, uh, some kind of, of, uh, of elaborated concept. Another, another, another uh, sort of the, of, the, of the task is uh, proof. Prove this document, proving the document, giving some proof. Uh, and third is, we of, very often use it in Estonian, uh, in Estonian office environment and all, by my mind, all uh, uh, good uh, document and records management applications uh, supporting it is the digital signing feature or digital signing functionality uh, in one hand linked with a workflow or different task and in another hand you can automate the digital signing. For example, you send in the workflow, uh, sign this document. It is a task, but it's also uh, named and automated as uh, automated and, and, and made for signing. And then you send this task, it is always sequently sent. Uh, you can sign the uh, document and give them all the digital signature we use in Estonian, in Estonian e-government. E this is one good, very good example, but not all these um, uh, all these tasks are so so well understood. For example, if you just say task, do something, you need to be more precise what kind of task it is, and uh, this is not uh, uh, at least in Estonia we don't have a generally accepted list of the of the of the types of the tasks, and one uh, institution use. Uh, uh, more of them, another different uh, list of the, of the types of the tasks. Uh, in very general, in many, many software applications also, you find uh, uh, just division into two types of tasks. One is task, it's, not, it's just a task, do something, whatever it is. And another is review. Task, you don't need to have a document, but review, you, you need to have a document, and you're sending document for review. Uh, in current uh, business process management, and also in the, in the document and records management applications, the ag agile, uh, uh, u agile use of the, uh, of the uh, business processes and is, is very, off, very needed. Uh, usually, uh, in software applications, you need to, to look in one hand to the flexibility of the workflow, what your workflow, workflow engine need to, what your work, flow, workflow engine is, uh, um, can do. And on, on, on another hand, it might be, it must be uh, uh, some sort of the, of the, of the boundaries for this uh, uh, workflow, workflow management. Therefore, uh, usually we do, uh, usually we do uh, in our document and records management applications, uh, uh, not in this agile process, but we use the workflow engine, we call it workflow engine, and this is, uh, this is what we do. And in this, inside this workflow engine, we might do some agile workflows. We can do templates, use them as instances, and so on. Uh, this is precisely uh, uh, all what I wanted to say about how business processes is linked to the document and records management applications. <laughs>